Hi, my brothers and sisters. This is Live Enlightened by Ron Steele. And today I am on Facebook Live instead of my YouTube account and my webinar jam. They're connected together and uh, usually they work. But um, Webinar Jam has a new system and um, I set it up and something is wrong and I just realized it today so I can't use it uh, till the next time. So I'm going to do uh, Webinar Jam uh, and YouTube. I'm going to do it here on Facebook today instead of YouTube and Webinar Jam and I'm going to post this this recorded live video to YouTube later today like the rest of my videos from Webinar Jam. Um, so, so again, those of you coming in late, my name is Ron Steele, and um, this is Live Enlightened by Ron Steele, and today I'm reading the knowledge book, part six. So uh, for those of you that um, haven't seen me on uh, Webinar Jam and uh, Facebook, my Facebook event, it's under Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. Um, so you can find me on uh, Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. Search that on YouTube. Search that on Facebook. And on Facebook, you're going to find an event page under Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. You're going to find a, a page, a Facebook page. Then you're going to find a Facebook group. Um, and I do these videos uh, every two weeks, either on a Saturday or a Sunday, depending on my work. Um, so today is September 16th, 2017. It's about 10.05 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time is usually when I do um, these webinars. Uh, right now the webinar consists of reading the knowledge book. Um, and like I said, I do those every, Saturday, every other Saturday or every other Sunday. Um, next time it'll be two Saturdays from today the, the time after that it'll go back to Sundays due to my work um, so anyway I haven't been doing these live webinars on Facebook live I have done some videos here on Facebook live but uh, um, today I'm on Facebook live because my webinar jam account and YouTube accounts are uh, disconnected they're messed up right now so I gotta fix those later today anyway for those of you ha who haven't seen me on webinar jam um, this is the knowledge book this is what I'm reading and um, it's a very very special book and th this is how much I've read so far I am not reading it by myself I only read it on live video every two weeks um, I really should do it a little more often but you know life so anyway welcome my brothers and sisters uh, to live enlightened by Ron Steele and right now I'm focusing on for the next several months I'm focusing on reading the knowledge book and this is part six if you want to see part one through part five go on YouTube and search live the enlightened lifestyle and you can see all my videos there okay and um, uh, you, my YouTube channel does work. It's just not working. The live part isn't working right now. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to get started on reading the knowledge book. And I'm going to do this for about the next hour. Um, I've never recorded an hour-long video on uh, Facebook. So I hope. <laughs> I hope it goes for an hour. Um, but I don't have any other choice right now. I just at the last minute, 10 minutes to 10, Ten minutes before my webinar starts, I just found out, you know, that my um, this new version of Webinar Jam is not connected properly to my YouTube channel, and I can't make it work right now. So let's give it a try. Anyway, I am now on part six, and this is page forty-seven in the knowledge book. And uh, those of you that want to understand what the knowledge book is and why I'm reading it, just go to my YouTube channel and look at video number one, part number one. It's called Live Enlightened by Ron Steele, Reading the Knowledge Book, part one. And then you could read the videos, part two, part three, part four, part five, part, part six. Uh, this is actually part six, okay? So um, here we go. Notice to the entire universe. Our friends. 
Some of our friends use tact to achieve an end. Their fear is of being deprived of the friends under their influence. We beg their pardon, but this, too, is nothing but the satisfaction of the ego. It is a beautiful thing to give knowledge and to receive knowledge, but the patience that was showing by our friends in the divine medium that we're, that were masters of patience cannot be shown during this period. All effort is for you, but you still are singing the same old songs. Do not forget that this behavior of yours does not provide any benefit for you at all. Convey what you know clearly without any fear to your friends. This is what we require. Our goal is to measure the thought frequencies of humans in this direction. Some of our friends act in the direction of their own thought frequencies, and this cannot assist us. In the next two years, we will put the world order into an orbit. The world order into an orbit. Hmm. In the next two years, we will put the world order into an orbit. And if you continue to shield the truths, you cannot awaken anyone and you cannot save anyone by assisting them. Some sleeps are driven away by shocks. Try it and you will prove us right. If you love a cat, it will love you too. This cannot expose the real self. Do not be afraid of being scratched. Genuine friends tell the bitter truth for your own good. However, the frequency and the views of our human brothers and sisters who are taken outside the direction of thought as necessitated by the medium are very significant for us. This is the degree of the urgency. Your style of action should not be in the direction of the medium. You should attract your medium in the direction of universal consciousness. You should help your brothers and sisters in this respect. We explain everything very clearly. Our friends who comprehend us will also be comprehended by their own friends. We are sure of this. The medium is not the medium of the Middle Ages. You are in you are in involvement beyond religion. Do not ever forget this. Remember it always, our friends, with our love. Signed, liked. Okay, so um, I'm going to go on to the next page. Those of you that this is new to, this is a book that um, there was a medium in Turkey back in 1984 who... Um, she intuitively received all this information just just the basically in a similar way that uh, some of the prophets or angels received um, the information about the Bible. Um, and this is supposedly the new Bible, but it has absolutely nothing to do with religion. Their um, religion is now outdated, according to this book, religion. Um, we don't need religion anymore because it separates us. This book is for every single person on earth, and this book is meant to bring us together, not to separate us. This is not to bring us together in separate groups. This is to bring us together in one whole group. Okay, so I'm going to go on to page 48. Our friends, this message, which is dictated from Mercury, is given by the command of the missionaries of the divine realm. This is Mercury, a dead planet, and now it is used as a base. Those who know these places should convey them to those who do not know, so that the world human can comprehend what space and the firmament are. Our earliest recommendations to our friends are that they should never mix imagination with their thoughts. They should not add anything to what they read. They should not they should please not change the nature of the book. Remember this, this book also was, um, uh, it was in Turkish and it's been um, translated into English. So um, it's not bad, um, not bad English, but, but it reads a little differently than some of us uh, in America would, would write it or understand it. Okay. So bear with me there. Um, 
Some of you make certain changes necessitated by society in the notes you write in your notebooks. You may be right according to your present circumstances. But do not forget that this book in your hands is not mirroring the past, but the future to you. Now, setting out on this path, we would like to make some more explanations about religion to you. Religions are suggestions, the nature of which is to elevate the morals of society. Okay. To our friends who will pass their final humanity examinations, which we call the first step taken forward into salvation, very beautiful messages will be given provided that they cross the first bridge in front of them. This book, which has been dictated in great secrecy for 20 years, has been kept veiled to everyone until today. However, when the time came in the world year 1-11-1981, when the first commandment of the Golden Age was received, this is called the Golden Age that we're in right now. Only the commands given were distributed to the universe. So again, uh, January 11th, 1981, when the first commandment of the Golden Age was received, only the commands given were distributed to the universe. Now, after the three-year period of waiting, like I said earlier, 1984, so in 81 this started, but they had to wait till 1984 to share it with with the public and it took me until now 2017 to find this this book so now after three or well actually they say the book finds you so uh, the book the book really did find me um, so now after a three-year waiting pe period of waiting society has been prepared and the command has been given that the book should be directly written and propagated as of January 1st, 1984. Henceforth, the book is being propagated to the universe chapter by chapter in this manner. At present, in countries abroad, we have 18 centers other than our ready coats. Coats is K-O-T-E-S. Um, our friends who perform missions telepathically are propagating and will propagate the messages. Please believe the seriousness of our words and convey these words of ours to your friends who are in doubt. Now let us explain the reason why it has been waited for three years after the first commandment to you. This was a formation period of a development in your public opinion and that is why it has been awaited. So a lot of things I've read in this book up to today, um, it seems that um, you know that that back in 1981 and even 1984, the world, the Earth, just wasn't ready. Um, you know, just wasn't ready for uh, enlightenment enough. And today, there's a lot of people out there enlightening. Um, which enlightenment is information. Darkness is the lack of information. So um, those people you see out there on the news and radio, TV, whatever, uh, or in person or in your family or your friends who are uh, ignorant, uh, greedy, hateful, fearful, um, they are in darkness because they lack information. When you lack information, you're ignorant. You lack intelligence. Um, and th really, that's the biggest thing I can tell you about enlightenment. Enlightenment's not a cult. It's not a religion. It's, uh, it's something freaking awesome because you're gaining naturally, um, not just from reading books and stuff, but you're naturally gaining intuition from above, from your guidance. Um, you're gaining information, you're gaining intelligence, you're gaining light, so they call it enlightenment. And enlightenment, if you don't believe me, you can look, uh, search on Google or wherever on the internet and you will see everywhere you search that enlightenment's been around for thousands of years. So here we go, continue reading. As a matter of fact, at the moment our light friend, the Pope, is building the biggest mosque 
of Europe in Rome. He is the first responsible one who has attained this consciousness on the path of world brotherhood. He is trying to unify humanity with all his endeavor. Our gratitude is infinite. His goal has been misunderstood in certain fanatic circles. What he is doing is not a religious propaganda, but a propaganda of humanity. We declare this to the public opinion. From now on, for their own good, we are determined to notify our terrestrial brothers and sisters, it's us, through this book about their incorrect steps going astray from the path of brotherhood and sisterhood, our friends, salutations, and love from us on behalf of the Supreme Assembly of Light. Okay, so that's page 48. So um, enlightenment, this, this knowledge book, um, and what I'm about, all of that is about love and unity, and it's about living your life with good intentions from love and happiness and not anger and fear and ego and separation. So it's about believing the real truth. What what? It's about getting rid of the manipulation that we've been under for so long and um, realizing, awakening, being conscious of the fact that we are all one energy together we're all brothers and sisters there is no there is nothing but human race on earth there there is no um separate races separate religions that's all been made up it's fake it's phony it separates us enlightenment brings us together because we are enlightened to facts um, and you realize intuitively and in other ways that everything and everybody is equal and we're in this together okay so page 49 notice to our terrestrial brothers and sisters our friends once messages given tantamount to public consciousness have constituted your religious books as a necessity of the medium those messages were projected to you through the enlightenment channel alpha by our light friends with the goal of putting societies on the right track they are your prophets. The words in the messages necessitated by those periods have put our human brothers and sisters in such a narrow frame that this conditioning has narrowed the range of their sights and they still cannot see the future. All our terrestrial brothers and sisters know that the Quran is the final and the most matured relig religious books. It's one of the youngest books here they're saying and um, so the late the, one of the youngest books would have some of the latest information now after the Quran came this book the knowledge book and the period of prophets ended with our light friend Muhammad Mustafa who was the final prophet a certain time frame has been recognized for all the religious messages given from the Enlightenment channel so that they could mirror the gen their genuine meaning to society. For this reason, the Quran mirrored the period up to the year 1999 to you. The 1500 world years that have passed have formed positive and negative consciousnesses in society. Besides this, a, society, a social view has been settled in the entire universe. And this is a triumph of the religious books revealed from the Enlightenment channel. Henceforth, after a period of 15 centuries that has passed, we are getting in connection with our terrestrial brothers and sisters directly. And that's you and I. We are the terrestrial uh, brothers and sisters. Our human brothers and sisters do not know yet the positive or negative aspects of certain suggestions brought to them during this time. We would like to efface the misunderstanding in society. Everyone is free in his or her religion, in his or her views. This dictated book does not eliminate your religious books. On the contrary, it presents them to you in the framework of the truth in a more comprehensible way and only invites you to the genuine humanity code through the unification of consciousnesses. By the command of the divine, we have received... We are notifying you about the progresses beyond religions through the direct channel of the Lord. 
we had said that the final book, the Quran, was the last universal book. We used the same expression for this book also. For no other book about religions will be revealed to you any more. That's interesting. Okay. This book will be our final book. So that's it. No more Bibles, no more religious books. And this book is not religious. Um, religion was created by man. And this book is not from man. Um, so this book will be our final book that will be revealed through the channel Alpha. For from now on, your actual book will be your conscious, your intellect, and your logic. This book has been revealed to awaken you from fanatic thoughts and dogmatic rules. It has been sent to remove the contradictions in your society. Let alone demolishing your beliefs, it has been revealed to you to explain the nature of your books so that you may tread the path of light in their direction more consciously. I think part of that means is that, um, you know, a lot of the, a lot of people have, have been misled and, and not fully told the truth, you know, from, from what they were, what the Bibles were supposed to be used for. They have not been used for. Okay, this message has been dictated as an answer to the thought chains we have received from the thought frequencies of some of our friends. Anyone who takes this book in hand should read it not once but many times so that he or she can be freed from prejudices. You can help your human brothers and sisters only after you educate yourselves in the direction of consciousness. After you attain the truth and after you make yourself gain your own self. Do not be afraid of us, our friends, but be afraid of and be aware of the captivity of your thoughts. All the love of our Lord is upon the entire universe. Signed, Light. Okay, note, this is just a note in the book. It says, in the dictated messages, we do not follow a sequence of dates and writings, for the awakening medium and the frequency powers of each person are different. You know that the that the chapters will reach the hands of our friends of different cultural levels in the universe. We, the group missionaries, act in the direction of the given directives so that everyone can attain an understanding in the direction of his or her own thoughts. For this reason, the chapters are written as a beginning, an end, and a middle. It is presented for your knowledge. This is signed, Mevlana Essence Nucleus Group. Okay, we're going to the next paragraph. Notice to our terrestrial brothers and sisters. Our friends, we would like to talk privately to our brothers and sisters who will enter and be prepared on the path of evolvement. We who come from afar as the, mission, as the emissaries of the divine realm serve on the path of our Lord. We could get in contact with you only as a necessity of this period. The enlightenment given on the path of our Lord is for the happiness of all the world humans. We as the residents of these places have come to overcome the negativenesses in the vicinity of your earth. We have connections with trustworthy, trustworthy friends only. Tongue twisters here. Uh, after the connection of the speed of light to the central system, we have been able to connect with you much more easily. There are great distances between the flat area on which the caravan treads and the impassable mountains. You are not even at the middle of the beginning yet. Our suggestions to you will always be the utterances of Allah or God. We never force you. Those who receive the data, those who present it, and those who expect it are all different. You can establish direct connections with us only after you overcome your depressions. Do not say, this is for me, this is for her, this is for him. Memorize. 
one by one, each word of the utterances. Even the degree of the load, even the, the degree of the load God, I think that means, I think they were trying to say Lord God, typo, um, will give humankind, even the degree of the Lord God will give humankind is given only after it is measured. Or maybe it is load. I don't know. That doesn't read right if you ask me. Those who receive will receive it. Those who receive will receive it. Those who do not receive will be left behind. Our friends. Okay, so those of you that just joined in, I'm reading the knowledge book. And uh, it's quite a big book. And a very amazing, important book. So... Okay, I'm going to keep reading on here. Enlightenment and offerings will be from us. Evolvement from you. By shoveling away the futile words, one day you too will fill your trunks with genuine utterances without being aware of it. Impatience does not suit you. Patience will be your strongest remedy. However, during this final period, there is urgency necessitated by the situation. Those who do not pay attention to the enlightening words of the Savior and those who receive the special utterances are different people. Our human brothers and sisters have not yet decided which path is the correct path and which path is the incorrect path. First they wish to see the good results and then they wish to enter the path. Our answer to you will be the following. Even the soul you trample on does not take without giving. First, it gives life to the seed, feeds you, and then it is hoed and fertilized. We kiss the giving hands. We love the hand that knows how to take. If you give, we become joyous. If you do not, we shed bitter, bitter tears. Our sadness is not for ourselves, but for you. Each of you are a light of the universe, a coat of God. If you give without talking, oh, I'm sorry. If you give without taking, you attain genuine happiness. May the light, the divine light of heavens, shine on you, our brothers and sisters. Pen of the Golden Age. Uh, that's the signature after the... The paragraph. So on to the next paragraph. Our friends, at this moment, we are in connection with each of our terrestrial brothers and sisters one by one. Some of them are not aware of anything. We unify with them directly in the realm of meaning. Apart from this, our special connections occur by rising of cell vibrations. We are habituating them to powerful energies much higher than the world frequency. Until today, messages on evolvement have been continuously given to your world. For your world needs this evolvement very much. In the future, we will give you very powerful universal knowledge. However, it is necessary to climb up the stairs step by step. Keeping this into consideration, we supervise your frequencies and make the knowledge allotments in this manner. So remember, all this information is coming from, from our, let's call them our archangels and ascended masters from above. Um, and this information was received by a, a medium in Turkey in 1981 and to 1984 um, intuitively. And... Um, they, it, it's from our extraterrestrial brothers and sisters, um, which I believe is why we even exist on Earth. I mean, God, God our creator, whoever that is, our creator, we all have the same creator, um, is the ultimate extraterrestrial and scientist, let's say. Um, just look at our bodies and look at how a tree grows and a plant grows and, and bees and other insects. Um, but especially the human body, we are amazing and um, something very intelligent and amazing created us all. And it wasn't simply energy. Um, okay. 
so I'll read I'll read on from the last sentence however okay in the future we will give you very powerful universal knowledge however it is necessary to climb up the stairs step by step keeping this into consideration we supervise your frequencies and make the knowledge allotments in this manner for this reason our friend who has climbed one who has climbed up one step has to wait for a time frame for our friends who are on the lower step in this manner frequency differences will decrease and no one will claim prophethood hmm I gotta read that again for this reason our friend who has climbed up one step has to wait for a time frame for our friends who are on the lower step in this manner frequencies different frequency differences will decrease and no one will claim prophethood you know that the prophethood period has ended the goal in the goal is universal unification at the humanity coat the ripening of raw fruits that do not receive the sunshine well takes quite a while <coughs> excuse me if fruits could talk each one of them would say I am very tasty now you can eat me while there is some acridity even in the sweet date how can anyone claim to be mature to be occurs by the command let there be not by sitting where you are the one who receives the command starts to proceed on the path this is a will of the divine to want and to be to search and to find are different things to search with hope is preferable to not to find what you hoped for those who search will meet and will unify in this manner those who are ready and those who will be prepared are different <clears throat> in your world there is something called time the time of the world and the time of the firmament are different if you don't know what the firmament is please go on Google and search firmament and uh, read it read about it for now the time of the firmament will await at the time of the earth and will try to approximate the earth time to its own time please pay attention to what we say we say approximate for for two different frequencies can never be one inside the other always consider this word of ours so for those of you who may not know frequencies um, everything is energy and um, a lot of groups of people or certain people live on live life on different frequencies um, for instance if you're if you do everything with good intentions and and from love um, and togetherness you'll live on a very high frequency and if you are someone who just um, complains and bitches a lot and um, is always fearful and negative and hateful and greedy you're gonna live on a whole nother low frequency uh, okay let's let's move on changes in zodiac units affect greatly your climate and your seasons and your lives at the moment due to the decrease in its centrifugal power your world rotates around your Sun with slight rolling movements even now your calendar is full of great mistakes one day you will modify it anew wow. so we have a new calendar coming we just learned watch and see wait for it we request we request you to write on the messages not the name of the day but the name of the month and the year from now on the messages you receive are from beyond time there is no date deviations occur on the date of the day you receive them in the world for this reason we would like you to use only the year and the name of the month 
on the messages you receive after today. The negativities around you should never affect the happiness of your spirit. For, for to those who will get assistance, helping hands will always be extended. When the time comes, we will prove everything to you one by one. As long as you should succeed to enter that evolvement medium. All our goodwill is for our terrestrial brothers and sisters. With our love, signed PGA, Pen of the Golden Age. Um, so when they say you should succeed to enter that evolvement medium, um, I believe the evolvement medium, that's a, another dimension. We, we live in several different dimensions. Right now, a lot of people are living in, in 3D, which is, you know, not a very good dimension. It's very low vibrational. Uh, okay, so we'll move on. Um, to our terrestrial brothers and sisters, our friends, now we would like to talk to you about the secrets of your achievements. Every human is rewarded thanks to his or her submission and goodwill. You have done this until today under the light of your religious purification. Now we will convey its genuine meaning to you. It's not a secret. This characteristic of the central system here is to keep your frequency adjustments under supervision. In every place where the name of God is mentioned, there is a medium of protection. For each word has a, a cipher, a meaning. This is valid for religions in each country. The word God or Allah is your protective code. It is your submission to him. Helping hands are instantly extended to those who are genuinely submissive. Your belief and submission from your essence are very significant here. Because the submission of a person in a dilemma and the genuine submission and belief turn on different colors of light in the mechanism here. Helping hands are extended to you in this manner, according to the level of your spirit. We work miracles for some of our unbelieving. We work miracles for some of our unbelieving but goodwilled friends. You know that miracles are for making those who do not believe, believe. Those who have genuine belief do not need miracles. In different religious societies, each individual has beliefs pe peculiar to himself or herself. Why does a number, a word, an object of luck, or a mascot bring you luck, but does not do so for another person? Have you ever thought about the profound, the profound prof, profundity, profundity of its meaning? <laughs> what is the reason? Now let us explain this. In whichever way you believe in something, in whichever way you look at it, in whichever direction you think of it, that thing will serve you in the very same direction. This is the necessity of a system. If you say good, it will be good. If you say bad, it will be, it will always be bad. Oh, I got to read that again. That sounds like the secret. That sounds like uh, manifestations and stuff. In whichever way you believe in something, in whichever way you look at it, in whichever direction you think of it, that thing will serve you in the very same direction. Yeah. That's what they're talking about in the uh, the movie, The Secret, and the books called The Secret. Um, uh, from Abraham and and uh, and the woman who channels him. Jeez, I forgot her name from The Secret. Um, okay, this is the necessity of a system. If you say good, it will be good. If you say bad, it will always be bad. Doubts and uncertainties are mostly your fallacies. For this reason, it is always doubt that causes the adverse results of your deeds. Do not ever forget that your sixth senses, your telepathic perceptions, have been continuously under the control of this system from the time of your existence until today. 
You presume that you do a lot of things through your own desire. However, you do not know what the created medium and the instinctive impulses are. If you deserve grace, your deeds will be successful. Otherwise, there will be, there will be adversity. Let us explain why the deeds of some humans go adverse. Your world is covered by a magnetic toll on the inside and the outside of the atmosphere. All desires and wishes wanted with goodwill can easily transcend this magnetic level due to their positive direction and their supervised here according to the spirit levels of the humans since they carry a certain frequency. You say God gives the human what he or she desires as long as they want it with good will. This statement is said for this very reason. Hmm. God gives the human what he or she desires as long as they want it with good will. So, so the way I read that is, is when you are thinking positive about something and you, you want to uh, manifest, you know, good things in your life, the goodwill part of it for me means that you, you have to genuinely mean it for a good reason. You can't want love or money or success um, with ultimately a negative intent. Um, that's why I said that I always say, you know, just if you can just remember, if you don't care about anything else I say ever in all my videos I've done for the last two years, if you can just trust me when I say live life every day with the best intentions, good intentions and love, um, then you, you just, you'll be good. You'll be good. But I, I choose, there's a lot more than that that I choose. I, I choose to put the healthiest food I can into my body and, um, you know, a part of living life every day with good intentions and from love is to let go of the ego, um, you know, that egotistical nature that that's all been inbreded into us in our DNA. Um, let go of fear, let go of anger, let go of greed. Um, good God, can you imagine how wonderful our world would be, our earth would be, if our politicians could, even, even if they don't master that technique that I'm speaking of, if they could just believe in it and practice it every day, because you can't master it like that. You have to actually practice it first. So I'm practicing it. I sure the hell ain't perfect. Um, it's hard. It's, it's freaking hard because my ancestors, it's in my DNA, just like yours, my ancestors, your ancestors, we were all uh, misled and uh, been turned into sheeple, you know, for uh, hundreds of thousands of, of years. Um, we were enslaved, you know, obviously. Now we're enslaved less obviously. Um, you know, we, we are, it's very difficult we're enslaved, meaning it's very difficult to live in this day and age without the democratic process, without being on the grid um, because of the need for money and the need for if somebody says you did something wrong or you did something wrong, then you got to go to their democratic courts and you got to live by their democratic laws, which we all know are screwed up big time. And... Um, and the, the fact that we, uh, we have to, you know, we, we need money. Um, it's pretty screwed up in its of itself. But anyway, uh, let, me, let me go on. I'll read from the last uh, sentence here. You say God gives the human what he or she desires as long as they want it with goodwill. This statement is said for the very reason. Co uh, covetousness, rancor, Burning desire, jealousy, cursing are all negative reactions in the adverse direction. Hmm. 
I wonder what they mean by cursing. The real word, the real meaning behind cursing, or does that mean, you know, saying saying bad words? Because <laughs> I don't believe, I think humans created the, you know, cussing, cursing. <laughs> Uh, I don't think any word was ever bad until we said it was bad, you know. Um, anyway, when something happens adverse to a person's desires, instantly these negative reactions come to the surface. These feelings cannot pass to the other side of that magnetic tool, tool, uh, T-U-L-L-E, since they carry negative pull. They strike it and then are mirrored back to the person who carries these feelings. Humans become unhappy due to this negative electricity. For this reason, we always mention love to you and tell you, overcome your negativenesses. Just reading that alone tells you Use your intuition. It tells you, it proves to you that everything you see around you has been created to make you vibrate on a lower level, to hold you down, to enslave you. I mean, just look at all the negativeness on, on the news and the Internet, and um, or actually don't. Don't look at it anymore. Um, you know, try to watch the most positive things you can um, on TV and uh, speak in your house, in your home, <clears throat> and at your work, and everywhere else. Think positively. Speak positively. And you can change your world. If you are a person charged with great negative electricity, then this returning electricity may not shake you. However, it may shake your near and dear ones around who around you who carry less immunity and you too are distressed indirectly by their sadness as a necessity of the established system negative powers cannot transcend the magnetic tool for this reason our Lord or our friends at higher levels do not have any guilt for the unhappiness of humans at all our friends at the divine realm are lights who struggle only for the happiness of humans. Humans create both their happiness and unhappiness themselves. The adverse reaction of the negative pole is nothing but the reversal of your negative thoughts after they strike the magnetic screen. As a, res as a result of his or her own adverse feelings, a person falls into the well he or she has dug. It is beneficial to repeat this. May all the happiness be upon you, our friends. Signed, Pen of the Golden Age. Okay, so page 54 of the knowledge book. For those of you who might have uh, just popped in and didn't hear my beginning speech, um, I'm reading the knowledge book. It's a genuine knowledge book. There's my seal. Um, okay. So I'll move on to our notice to our brothers and sisters, our friends. We would like to answer in a general way some of your thought chains we have received from your frequency supervisions. We have said, write your books in your handwriting. However, we have also announced that there was no compulsion and that everyone should act in the direction of his or his or her initiative. We have to explain certain misunderstandings here. We will convey to you shortly, as a result of the command we have received, the special reason of our requirement that everyone should write the book in his or her own handwriting. This procedure has been for registering you into the assembly of the constant ones here, at a place you do not know yet that is called Land of Eagles. Only friends who are cognizant of their responsibilities will be accepted here. Thanks, Sue. Yeah, Esther Hicks. Sorry, I'm not reading the comments that much. I'm trying to focus on the on the book, but yeah. Uh, here we have received the command to explain this to you. Your book has already been revealed to Tara now. That's really something. Even in this book, they, they call... 
Terra, for, from what I know, Terra, T-E-R-R-A, is Earth. Terra is the Mother Earth. And if anyone knows anything different, please write it in the comments there. This book does not limit any of your actions. If you wish, if you wish, you read it. If you do not wish, you do not read it. If you wish, you assist in the propagation medium. If you do not wish, you do not do so. You are a free spirit, a free conscious your actions are under the command of your conscious and your common sense this dictated book will shed light on future years by preparing a flowery world for your children and grandchildren signed the light uh, next next uh, paragraph our friends the involvement and the discipline of a human occur as a result of his or her struggle with his or her own self no one else can ever discipline him or her for if someone else tries to discipline him he will always he will always sow negative seeds on the field of that person hmm. well that's that's interesting The evolvement, let's read that again. The evolvement and the discipline of a human occur as a result of his or her struggle with his or her own self. No one else can ever discipline him or her. For if someone else tries to discipline him or her, he or she will always sow negative seeds on the field of that person. Boy, does that enlighten me for a moment. Do you think that we've been taught all of our lives for, for another reason of uh, for misleading us and for controlling us and for enslaving us? Do you think we've been taught this negative thing where, um, unless I misunderstand this paragraph, that we've been taught to, to teach and discipline people? And according to this paragraph I just read, that's a, that's a negative thing that, that uh, will always sow negative seeds on the field of that person who you're trying to discipline or teach because we're not letting them learn their lessons on their own. That goes against everything we've ever been taught by, by our parents and, and the church and adults. That's, that's something to, to think about there. I don't know. If the person's personality exercises discipline on his or her self, he can easily get rid of the negativeness within him or her and can prepare him or herself for the evolvement medium. If you know how to look with a benevolent eye at those who look at you with a benevolent one, you will lead them to a secret self-discipline. If you know how to look with a benevolent eye at those who look at you with a malevolent one, you will lead them to a secret self-discipline. Wow. Such a moment arrives that he or she becomes ashamed of his or herself and attains the consciousness of his or her deeds. When love reaches the genuine coat of love, that is at the apex of angels. You too become an angel. To be able to attain this blessing is peculiar only to those who deserve it. Seeds sown in your subconsciousness, even before you were born, are becoming verdant in accordance with the medium in which they are present. <coughs> Excuse me. This is your essence coat. This coat, K-O-T-E, designs the path of your destiny. Everything is inherent with your existence. Nothing is added afterwards. You will tread the same path in every period. You will choose the good or the evil by your essence consciousness, and you will find the path of truth by this means. This is the very thing which makes you yourself. 
everything in the universe is an element of equilibrium. The, abs the absence of one thing is always compensated with something else. In fact, your essence consciousness coat is always kept outside evil intentions. But mankind has always deviated and gone astray. Self-sacrifice designs the most sacred path for humankind. Let us love. Let us be loved. Let us see your essence. Let us enter the heavens and know what everything is. Steps taken into this manner will always lead our human brothers and sisters to luminous and flowery paths. With our love to our brothers and sisters, pen of the golden age. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to keep reading for a little bit longer. Uh, in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, and you guys can watch this video along with my other videos on uh, my YouTube channel. So go on YouTube and do a search for Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. Okay? And that's me. You'll find all my videos there. Uh, this is part six, by the way, uh, Reading the Knowledge Book, Live Enlightened with by Ron Steele, Reading the Knowledge Book, part six. And part one through five are on YouTube right now. Okay, so I'm going to move on. Our friends. And now we would like to answer you on some of the questions in your thoughts. We address our friend who writes this book, Dare Mevlana. Why? Do we say so? For this name has a very special place in the humanity coat. However, during this period, this name is used as a symbol. We felt, the necess we felt the necessity to explain this to our friends who have not who have not been able to attain consciousness of this. In fact, in your dictionaries, Mevlana means the servant of God. And the genuine servant of God is an enlightening guide who sheds light on the path of humanity. We use this symbol for those very people. It is presented for your knowledge. On behalf of the Supreme Light Assembly, Light. Our friends, we are your solar friends who have come from other solar systems. We have bases in many galaxies in your solar system. For example, Mercury is a focal point where our center, central system is in. It is a dead planet. Most of our bases are on it, only due to its proximity to your sun. Pluto, covered by methane glaciers, is the lightest planet of your sun. This place here has the mission of being our storehouse for food. The satellite of Pluto is our special base after Mercury. It is used as a central exchange base. We go from there by, as you call, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, to our other planet bases. During each full moon, we have been giving messages about evolvement from the moon base to our terrestrial brothers and sisters for centuries. Communications are made directly and telepathically addressing your frequency levels, our terrestrial brothers and sisters. Since the moon is the closest satellite to you, many of our friends whose frequencies have been able to rise to this level can easily receive these messages. And we see that going on every day with all these new mediums that have come out over the last, what, 10 years, would you say? And they are incredible. The Hollywood medium, uh, what's, that, what's that kid's name? Ta Taylor? Tyler? Tyler, I think. Um, he's pretty incredible. And then um, uh, the, the lady from New Jersey. She's, she's pretty incredible, uh, too. Um, so I'm going to keep reading. So besides our special ships traveling between the moon and the earth, prepare your brain coats in the direction of your lives for different frequency adjustments. For this reason, we are aware of your every situation. We have personal contacts with our friends who establish contact with us. To our friends whose frequencies have risen beyond the moon, 
knowledge unknown until now is given from the transmitters of the galaxy field into which they have entered. Those who receive them are your mediumist friends. Special connections with us are enabled through them, and through the mediation of these friends, we could find the opportunity of addressing you. We have notified you through the channel of the Lord of the laws of our universe and have extended our friendly hands to you. Believe us, until today, we have delayed most of the time the dangerous phases your world has gone through, and we will always assist you in the states where we can postpone this. Again, you guys, uh, I'm reading the, uh, the knowledge book on Facebook Live today since my webinar jam and YouTube channel have uh, disconnected. I need to fix it and don't have the, the time. So, um, so I'm going to keep reading. Uh, we talk directly through radio and phone with some of our friends. Television waves are both receptive and transmitting waves. In this manner, it is possible to receive and give knowledge both ways. Our friends who want to have telepathic communications with us can receive answers in this manner to the questions they ask. Radios, telephones, televisions are primitive instruments for us. Your most evolved instruments are your brain vibrations. We establish your direct we establish more direct contacts without any intermediaries in this way. For this reason, we make you gain cosmic awareness, and thus we augment your sixth senses. This is why this, this period has become the period of mediumship. Cosmic rays train even a newborn baby. Again, signed uh, PGA, Pen of the Golden Age. Um, so I'm on to page 57. And I'll be wrapping things up in probably the next uh, 10, 15 minutes. I'll read a couple more pages. Um, so we're on uh, Chapter 5, 1984, the fifth month. So again, this was a book called The Knowledge Book. Um, and it was intuitively received by a woman in Turkey in 1981 and um, she didn't release it it wasn't allowed to fully be released in, in the a lot of um, uh, she's a medium and a lot of what she was interpreting and um, the intuition she was receiving a lot of it kind of stopped until 1984 so this book was fully written and finished um, I believe starting in 1984 um, and it's called the knowledge book and there are and will be no more Bibles, and this is not a Bible. This is a book for every single person on earth. Um, there will no, there will no, this book says there will no longer be any books that can be used to separate people into groups and religions. We are all one race, the human race, and um, that's what this book is for. This is a brotherhood and a sisterhood to bring every single person on this planet together as one and to stop the separation, to stop the enslavement, to stop the greed, to stop the egos, to stop the hate, and to stop the fear. Live every life with good intentions, every day life with good intentions and from love, and that's it. That's all you got to do. And then treat your, your body the same way by eating healthy every day and thinking uh, positive thoughts let the negative thoughts go think positive thoughts every single day and if you think a negative thought turn it into a positive thought immediately and um, and define those positive thoughts very uh, very detailed um, so the universe knows what you want because your positive thoughts you should be thinking about what you want not what you don't want stop thinking about what you don't want those are negative thoughts so when you think a negative thought be don't be very detailed at all and let it go quickly acknowledge it and just let it go it ain't there anymore and then uh, think a turn it into a positive thought about what you do want and be very detailed about what you want and your energy your vibration that high vibration because positive thoughts are high vibrations, negative thoughts are low vibrations. Anger, greed, hate, that's low vibration. Separation, low vibration. The high vibration from love and positive thoughts 
will, and you be very detailed about it, that will send your energy to the universe. What it will send what you really want to the universe and then bounce it back to you like the mirror they were talking about in this book earlier. So, um, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to read on, um, greetings to our brothers and sisters, our friends, your religious books and all fairy tales are each a message prepared according to the circumstances of the medium they are in and all, and they all mirror a truth each. Mythology and heroes of society speak about the extraordinary events of the medium they are in. Heaven, hell, Adam and Eve, skies, grounds, dragons, giants, jinns, fairies, angels and devils cannot be accepted as the imaginations of the humans who saw and lived in those eras. For you can never think of something that does not exist. If you will write a story, it is nothing but an adventure you experienced before, but could not remember until then, and which, at that moment, rises above the awareness and is put on paper. Since the evolutionary periods the world went through, your awareness coats, again, K-O-T-E-S, your awareness coats, have been following all the events. Only the events which arise above the consciousness are written on paper. These remain in archives as novels, stories, and adventures. Poems have quite a different side. Their metaphysical factors play a role. Humankind has given a lot of scientific, philosophical, philosophical and psychological philosophical and psychological novel and story type of words of an art for centuries. Their subjects do not resemble each other. They are all different. This is due to the fact that each author has lived in different periods and his or her works have originated from his or her private life. If you notice, common aspects in religious books never change. And this is the unchanging proof that all religious books were revealed from the same channel, from the same source. Have you ever thought for a moment about the reason of all these efforts? Is our Lord trying to prove himself to you? Or does he wish you to prove yourselves? He is already almighty, the absolute, all and single. There is no need for proof. So the only thing left is you should prove yourselves to him, and this should be something not easy, not so easy. <clears throat> the moment your integrated belief unifies with God consciousness, you pull down the curtain of truth. Then you are faced with the coat of love, art and truth, art and true love, which is the highest frequency. And the consciousness of this connects you to the space coat, beyond universal bonds. Only scientists wish, only scientists, wise ones and artists can do, get directly in connection with us. We do not call them. They come to us through their thought chains by creating and purifying themselves. Contact with us is not as easy as presumed. Here, we would also like to convey the following. So I'm going to go on to page 58, and I'll read the rest of this and stop. Our friends who have not seen us have talked about us in length in Jinn, Jinn stories, J-I-N-N -N stories, and fairy tales, with the influence of certain events they have witnessed or felt, also adding their flights of fancy. But they have not tried to make any research on these events due to their fears of us. As we always say and shall repeat again, fear is a factor that cuts down your frequencies. The less your doubts and fears are, the more you approach us and the more, you're free to, the more you free yourselves from your superstition. So the less your doubts and fears are, the more you approach us and the less and the more you're free, the more you free yourselves from the superstition. Um, for we have come to be friends with you, not to frighten you. We always stay away from those who are afraid. 
we have no right to make them uneasy. In such a case, we try to be friends with them, meeting them in the realm of dreams and try to efface their fears. And we prepare them for certain mediums in accordance with the command we receive. Now, we think that we have answered the questions that have crossed some of your minds. And now let us convey why we cannot get out of this secrecy medium completely. As a necessity of the medium, we act in accordance with the commands we receive. We cannot have any individual actions. We are ob obliged to establish connection only with friends who completely carry positive ener energies on the screen. Wow. And we know most of us don't completely carry positive energies. So that's why they, that's why there's not a lot of people. The, the majority doesn't connect with our extraterrestrial brothers and sisters. <clears throat> that is to say, with our friends who are our true friends, um, those to, thanks to those friends, we can make our voice be heard by you. May they live long. May they exist. Our gratitude is infinite. Signed, Pin of the Golden Age. So like one of their friends they're talking about is the, the lady um, who connected with them to intuitively, um, as a medium, she intuitively wrote this book from them. Um, I believe her name was, if I'm saying this right, it's, it's Turkish. It's Vidya Bulliant. V-E-D-I-A, and then that's her first name, Vidya, I believe. Vedia or Vidya. Um, Bulent, B-U-L-E-N-T. And then it does say Karak. Um, so maybe that's uh, C-O-R-A-K. So Vidya Bulliant Karak. Karak. Okay, so I've got one more paragraph to read, and we'll wrap up today. Um, notice to our terrestrial brothers and sisters, our friends, matter and energy are invisible holes. Distressed awareness is the sole factor which separates matter and energy. The human develops and matures on this path. Your depressions go parallel to the depressions of the world. Negative thought frequencies encompassing the universe reflect on you from your atmosphere. For this reason, your world has been entering more and more into depression and blind alleys. This is the reason why negative currents upset the divine waves of the period of sincerity. Each person has become so selfish that no one thinks about anyone else. This is the reason why the compassionate waves of the Lord cannot reach you, for these currents comprise certain frequencies. I should say that has not been our fault. As a humanity, we have been distorted and we've been turned into sheeple. We've been enslaved. We've been misled. Um, and, and it's not just us. It's in our DNA. It's hard to get out of your DNA when for hundreds and thousands of years you have been taken over and controlled. And we still don't know who's, who it is doing that, but we know it's somebody, you know, powerful and, and fairly evil uh, above us, uh, above the White House, above our leaders. Um, so your equilibrium that is impaired impairs the universe, too. Permission will never be given for this. During this period, everyone is all alone. The choice is yours. If you can become a light despite all of your depressions and can kindle a light, then you prove that you are of value. Okay, well, I'm going to stop there. Um, and I'll read on from page 59 of the knowledge book. I'll be back in two weeks. I usually do this. Lately on um, on a on a Sunday, but I'm doing this on Saturdays. I used to do it on Saturday, and uh, for my work, 
I sometimes I'm working Tuesday through Saturday, so um, Sunday or Monday is the only free time I have to uh, to read, but um, to do my webinar. So I'll be back in two weeks from today on a Saturday, and then after that, the, I think the next one is going to be on a, a Sunday or a month. Oh no, I changed it to a Monday. I will actually be back. I think it's October. 30th after um, let's see so I'll be back on September 30th probably I'll be back on my YouTube channel and my um, uh, webinar jam which most of you know me from uh, and then and then I think Monday October 16th will be my next one after that so um, I'll see you guys thank you thank everyone um, thank you guys, brothers and sisters of mine, who joined me today for reading the knowledge book. Okay. So um, I'll be back um, two Saturdays from today on September 30th. And then after September 30th, I'll be back on uh, Monday, uh, September 16th. Okay. So you guys can find me on the YouTube channel, uh, my YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, search Live the Enlightened Lifestyle, and you will find me. You will see me there. Um, my YouTube channel, and you'll see this was part six. By by the way, today is um, uh, "Live Enlightened" by Ron Steele. That's that's my whole uh, that's my webinar series. So every time you'll see me um, on Facebook Live and um, Facebook and Webinar Jam and YouTube, it's "Live Enlightened" by Ron Steele. That's what I do. I just talk to you, my brothers and sisters, about what I've learned about living enlightened, live the enlightened lifestyle. And uh, right now, though, I'm focusing on Live Enlightened by Ron Steele, reading the knowledge book. So today was part six, okay? And uh, there's part one, two, three, four, and five. Right now, you can go to YouTube um, and search Live the Enlightened Style, Live the Enlightened Lifestyle on YouTube, and that'll bring you to my channel. And then click on that channel and um, uh, start viewing all my videos there, not just the knowledge book, but I've done a lot of videos there over the last two years. Um, and then I have uh, Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. You can search on Facebook. I have a Facebook page under that name. I have a Facebook event under that name. Click going to the event if you want to get notifications. And then I have a Facebook um, group called Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. And those are all the ways you can find me. And if you want to friend me, you can just find Ron Steele or Ronald Kurt Steele. You'll see those two names on my Facebook page and a picture of me. It looks like I'm in a like I'm on. I have helicopter helicopter pilot um, things on. Everybody likes that picture, so I mentioned that because you'll know right away that that's you got the right Ron Steele and and uh, friend me if you're um, if you like what I do. Um, I'll be friends with uh, with any of you. Okay. Um, let's see. So thank you guys for, for joining me. Um, I will be back, like I said, in two weeks from today. It will be on a Saturday again, September 30th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. You can find your time zone by clicking see more here in the, uh, in the, the details I wrote in this video. And it'll show you um, a bunch of different time zones for you, all the way from, I've got people listening from um, England, uh, Romania, Russia, Australia, and um, so I hope you guys, my brothers and sisters, I hope you know I love you, and um, I hope that you will have trust and faith in me and, and what I'm reading to you and what I'm saying to you and the positive things I bring you um, because I just want you to know that all you have to do is live life with good intentions every day and then do it with love. So live life with love and good intentions and um, that's the easiest thing, the simplest thing I can tell you. And it gets a little more complicated from there as far as letting go of your ego, your greed, your hate, your anger, your negative, negative thoughts. Um, so just think positive every day and do things with everything you do. As long as it makes you feel good, do it. As long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else, then it does. nothing else matters. You do it. Feels good, you do it. You're excited about something, go out there and do it. 
Just make sure you're not hurting yourself or anyone else. That's the law of the universe. It's just that easy. Screw all the other laws. They're fake. Um, so I think I've, I've said enough today. I'll let you guys go. I'm going to go take this video now and download it. Uh, from Facebook and I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel for uh, those of you that that have more time later and you want to come back and watch this reading the knowledge book part six today um, I'll see you guys uh, again in a couple weeks or I, I might be on on I used to do Facebook live videos more often about other stuff so maybe I'll come on and and do more of these um, uh, my life has just been a, a big um, evolvement of learning and enlightening and uh, um, preparing. Uh, so my intuition and guidance above has really been preparing me and, and you know I haven't been on Facebook because of it very much lately but uh, soon, soon I'll be back more often. So uh, namaste, love you guys, and please live life every day with love and good intentions and um, and practice unifying everybody. We are not separate religions, races, sexes. We are all living a spiritual life in a human vessel, a human body here on earth. We are souls living a human experience right now. And we are all one. We are all in this together. Please don't forget that. Um, and do the right thing every day, please. And uh, when you have wisdom, please share it with with everyone you can. And when you obviously see that they don't want your wisdom, then you can stop and move on to the next person or the next group. Okay? Love you guys. Take care. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.